Welcome to Living 757. Mm. How are you guys? Good, good, good. Another yeah. week, Baya. Yes, 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 yes. The start of another week with yes, the ending like. of another month. We are at the, the end of the month, month and a new month is coming. Yeah, I it's love it. It's going to be May. Yes, and I'm excited because you, the you weather. You got to sing that. You got to sing it. You have to say, it's gonna be May. Yeah, it's Hold time it, for I the May meme. Yes, you have to do, it's gonna, gonna be May. Got yes, it. you got it. <laughs> yes, right. and What's per so usual, big? Quincy skips the boy band parts. <laughs> Yes. All right, all but right, welcome, so guys. Welcome, you, everyone in the, in the house. So what, another what's great happening show. With, with the whole May thing? Because y'all are way too excited. Okay, about okay. It. well, I know Cinco all, de Mayo is... Cinco de Mayo is right around the, the corner. Part of an NSYNC song. Sync. NSYNC. Got you. Sync. Got you. Guess okay. what? It's gonna be me. You, okay. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I know I where it. she's I coming it. from. I got it. I got another it. I got great it. tour. You know what, though? Yeah, that, that actually reminds me. Y'all know I talked to Andrew Hypes, who is from Virginia and he's Justin Timberlake's DJ that he's touring with. Right. Yes. That tour started this week in Vancouver. Oh. Ooh. It's Vancouver? the Everything I Wish I Was tour. Ooh, okay. That's the name of the tour? Yes. Everything Justin Timberlake, he's, he's killing it. He's doing a world tour and he's taking a DJ from Virginia across nice. the world with him. Cool. So are they, cool. are they coming here? Or? They are not. They will actually be in both D.C. and Raleigh. Those are okay. the two closest places. Gotcha. Nice little road trip for anybody from the 757 who wants to attend. Um, I think These they're two. also going to be in Vegas. Can we go to Vegas, please? Hold up. But Can we go to Vegas? That would be so much fun. Yes, let's no, do it. <laughs> no, y'all are going to D.C. I'm like your dad. No, y'all are going to D.C. North Carolina. No, you you do you want to come to Vegas? Vegas? Why? Let's come to us with Vegas, to Vegas. Uh, can I come? Can I? <laughs> yeah. You skipped the Backstreet Boys trip. Why don't you come see Justin Timberlake? Justin wow. Timberlake. We're talking about Justin Timberlake. JT, huh? Yeah. I mean, y'all call him Justin. I Bring call him JT. Sexy back. What's up, oh. JT? Oh, okay, you coming? Is that a yes? Huh? Is that a yes? We're uh, going to Vegas? Oh, yes. Yeah, it's nowhere close to being a yes. Look, this is a lot of, <laughs> a lot of, a lot of energy. <laughs> I we missed did that. it. I missed that, and I promise I'll catch the next high five that happens on this show. I promise you. Now, what I will tell you this, late ladies, uh, ma'am, can you get your? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, there's a lot of a lot of male energy I'm feeling right now. Okay, so I got a question for y'all. Uh, have y'all ever heard of this product called Dude Wipes? Of course I do. <laughs> Dude Wipes, like yes. that's the brand. Yes. Oh, from where? Well, there were, um, Santa Claus I think five years ago, I saw them on Shark Tank. So they were on Shark Tank. Yes, so they were featured in Shark Tank. And then also my son, Alex, he uses it. Okay, so yeah. you do... They're in my bathroom. <laughs> so you know about do what? Do you, have you ever heard of, I've never heard mm -hmm. of do what? So. Santa Claus put them in key stocking a couple years ago, so I, I saw them on Christmas. So why wow. did you ask Quincy Carter? Oh, because okay. you, you, so, bought, you so, bought them or what? No, 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 no. So I happened to see the commercial randomly yesterday. I'm like, what is this? Like, okay. like men need wipes now? And then I looked in my closet and I, <laughs> I have two packages unopened and I want to know who slipped dude wipes into my closet. So I was like, who? okay, like I I've never heard. For so somebody who's kind of OCD about their cleaning and their hygiene, I'm surprised yes. you haven't used those. Yes, I'm very surprised that you don't use so, them before. So how do they get to your closet, first of all? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I happen to see them in my closet. What I want to know is since y'all are experienced, so Keith used them. So I need to talk to your husband, Keith. And, and, and my son also uses them. So. Really? Yep. Yeah. That and is, yeah I, is. I, yeah, I never knew anything about it. So that's why I went, dude wipes. Like, yep. that is that is funny. Just to say, dude, hey, dude, did you use your, did you dude. use your wipes? <laughs> it, it reminds me of, wait, what was that movie? Dude, Crazy, don't, sweet. Don't, don't put it with that emphasis. What was that movie? Which one? Dude, where's my car? <laughs> right. <so laughs> Where they're like, dude, right. sweet. But I just, I just, nice. I just don't see guys like, like ladies. Y'all could be out clubbing, or you can be out partying. Be like, girl, did you use what, whatever the, the, you know, some. But guys would be like, hey man, you don't smell good. Hey, dude. Use your you wipes. You have dude wipes now. Use your wipes. Be like, wipes. I didn't know, bro. Well, so, yeah. So, I love cool. wipes. So, so, I may I may try it. Yes. That's all I want. You have to try it. This feels okay. like it's heading in the direction of a different show. So, why don't we talk about some oh, events? Oh, stop it. We just talking about keeping clean. 
Yes, that's right. Yeah. Well, speak is uh, some events that are coming on here in the 757 area. You know that we have the Atlantic Coast Kite Festival. You know what's a kite festival? Everyone can come and even homemade their own kite or either go and purchase your own kite. This is going to happen Saturday, May 4th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and Sunday, May the 5th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. This is for everyone. Participants can do this event and contest for free. You don't have to pay anything. Like I say, the judge is going to be uh, looking for the bigger kite, the best kite, the most creative one. It's different categories. Like a, this is a fun, fun family event to have fun and enjoy here in Virginia. Beach. I love kites. I just want to say I love flying kites. I hate trying to get the kite started because if the okay. wind is not right because that's, like, the, that's the hardest so part Queen and you're like a grown man running <laughs> <laughs> now, to get the, and it doesn't fly i, I know I can't stand one it. of the requirements for the winner is uh the judge is going to be looking for five minutes you know the right. sky has to be flying for five right. minutes consecutive but so the it's comedy, not like you cannot come down the comedy is in watching people get that that kite started when there's no running running like, running like, this is start a grown man <laughs> trying to run and then you're looking behind you and the kite is just do you that ever, is true. like, <laughs> randomly have these intrusive thoughts that are kind of irrational? Okay. Because when I'm thinking about a kite festival, I'm immediately going straight to, what if you were there and a kite came down and hit you? <laughs> <laughs> That's not gonna happen, Ashley. That's not gonna happen because I believe they have a, a place so we can start your kite. But uh, yes, this is a very fun, uh, fun family event to share with everyone. Yeah, especially, especially if maybe if you have if you have some spirits in you. No, that was no. poor attempt in an alley -oop. That, but, was, that was a good alley -oop But we, we are going to talk about it, though. <laughs> this um, The Town Point Wine Festival is coming up. It's the Spring Wine Fest. You can go. You can get tickets. You can either get tasting tickets, which are going to be $40 for Saturday and $35 for Sunday. Ooh. Or you can get a general admission ticket, which isn't much cheaper. So I just go with the tasting ticket. You can also do a sommelier experience where Ooh. they walk you through some really good wines and some really good food, yeah. and, or you can get a reserve table. There are options for everybody at Wine Fest. That's taking place at Town Point Park. That's in downtown Norfolk, and it's always a really good time. I love it. Yeah. Wine Festival. We yeah. should go. Quincy, yeah. come with us. No, come on. Okay, don't you, know, you don't want to come to Vegas. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the Wine Festival. Well, You're you know a what? liar. <laughs> I, may, I may think about it, but uh, something you don't also have to think about is uh, if you're looking for some entertainment, ladies, I don't know if you've ever seen this. Um, uh, it's a production called The Jersey Boys, okay? Oh, and it's yes. coming to the Sandler Center. Now, they usually have this production and so many others on the cruise ships that I usually perform on. And when I tell you it is a great, almost two-hour show, um, I mean, it is phenomenal singing, uh, acting, and everything is just perfect. So it's going to be at the Sandler Center May 3rd through the 5th. And uh, you know what? I would just say, say this, okay, so it's an inspiring rags to riches show, okay, and it's a hit musical group called The Four Seasons. Okay. okay. So a uh, hit musical group called The Four Seasons and they're going from rags to riches and uh, they, they just got, I mean, it's just an array of things that you just don't want to miss. So definitely yeah. get your tickets and go out there to be yes. at the Sandler Center and um, you know what, whether I can be there or not. It, don't you guys happy that we have so many events coming to the same you know, place area? Y and also traveling to places? You know what? These mugs are getting on my nerves because where is my mug? Okay, maybe my mug will show up. Uh, so last week, <laughs> we found that our, my, my mug, my Living 7 mug, is just traveling the world. Um, do we I have think... any places that he's been in the yes. last week? Ooh. I think he's following you, Quincy. This See? brother is on a, he got Dyer's a better cat? seat than I've ever I gotten. I have a mug. <laughs> is, is, is that in the first class? He's got a first class seat with a mirror. Oh, yeah. okay. And, oh, okay. okay. He okay. definitely flying okay. first class. Oh. Uh -oh. oh, so he now he has Rivers a gambling casino. problem. Is he at Rivers Casino? It is the Rivers or, or Casino. Wait, is he in Vegas? Is he going to be at the Justin Timberlake in... show? Oh, oh my God! All right. So oh. now, oh, oh, so okay. now he's got oh, some friends. The now. mug is got, got, The mug is got some beautiful oh, friends. And look, and look what the good girl said. Ah, but Quincy doesn't know that he's here with us today. Ah, ha, ha, ha. So you maybe you were there. And, oh, hold up. So is that a train? He's on a train in Europe. Yes. Okay. In okay. Londres, no, that's Paris. Yeah. Paris. Oh, so he's going to the Huge Olympics. Tower there. He, he's there to see the. Well, wait, 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 wait. 
It's unclear whether that's Paris or that's oh. Paris and Las Vegas. Time We're out. not sure. Now this You're brother, going back to Vegas. Now this brother is showing off. Quincy, I got, he's got I a got better a, car than he's you. He's got a better sports car than I do. Okay. 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 I see what he's that doing. Like and I'm going to raise you. If I ever catch tour, you. Is that a yacht? If I, you know, look, where's the camera? I can look at. You're on Mafia Coast? I just want to look at it. Give it a one. If I ever catch you. From what you're doing to me, it's going to be a problem. Okay. 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 The real, ice. Wait. The, this is I think the real question, though, is... Where is my mug? That's what <laughs> yes, doing. where is your mug? But who has your mug? Because you know the mug ain't out there taking selfies of itself. Like, somebody is carrying it. We'll get down to, to the bottom yes, of it. Yes, we need to find out exactly who is taking the mug to those those beautiful places yes. all around the world. Yeah, you need because to take us. Is that maybe, maybe you and you just hiding it from us? Yeah. Are you sure you're yeah, not playing? You know what, okay. I, I'm fine. I'm going to find out. I'm just, I'm just a little bit upset now. Although my <laughs> mug is not here, we are so glad that you guys are here to join us today because yeah. we got an exciting show to you uh, for you guys, including we're going to be in the sky. Yes, uh -huh. and we're going to see Quincy qualify this time with HRT. And we are balling while we talk about the Iverson Classic. But first, can Patricia do a back handspring in heels? Yes, I can. I gotta it see might this. just Without find my out. heels? That's having a um, break. Don't go no, away. No, I'm not taking my hands. I got to see this. Uh, yeah. Welcome back to the coolest show in town. Our next guest is beautifying the 757 one face at a time, and she's also a boss of an entrepreneur. Let's welcome Keisha Rowland. Hey! Hi. Nice to be here. Thank you so much for joining us, and I love the pink. Thank I'm a pink you girl. So much. Thank you. It's one of my favorite colors. Now, you own Luxury Beauty Studio. Mm -hmm. How did you get started and how did you decide you wanted to open a business? Oh my goodness. So I got started in the industry about seven or eight years ago when I went to cosmetology school. And from there, I kind of worked at Sephora where I fell in love with makeup, the whole beauty industry and everything. And so about a year ago, I decided to create my own makeup line. And I started out with just lipsticks and lip glosses. I love it. I love it. Now, we have a beautiful model here. This is Kenya. Yes. I want you to talk me through, if somebody comes into your studio and they're like, I know nothing about makeup, mm -hmm. but I have this event or I'm, I'm going to dinner or whatever the case may be, how, like what's the thought process behind the colors you put on them? So typically one of the things that I look at, I look at com um, complexion. I also look at what they're wearing. Okay. So one of my main questions that I ask, okay, what are you wearing? What type of look are we going for? Do you want something more natural? Right. Do you want something more dramatic? So always with the drama. Yes. I always sure. go with drama, ladies. Always. <laughs> yes. Um, okay. Now, can you talk me through how you make decisions about what you're going to put on Kenya? So typically, I would ask Kenya. Okay, Kenya. So what type of event that you have going on today? Um, I would say maybe like a dinner date. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then what are you wearing on your date? I'm a, I love black, so I probably okay. wear all black. Mm -hmm. So maybe something a little, you know, subtle. Okay, so mm -hmm. something really natural for mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Typically um, with Kenya, when she wants to go for more of a natural look, then I like to play around with a little bit of the nude tones for her. Okay. Yeah. All right, do you want to put some on her? Absolutely. All right. <laughs> and, and while you're doing that, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you some more questions. Yeah, for you sure. You want to grab one? Sure. All right. So what was your inspiration behind the business and behind the branding, behind what you call the business? <laughs> um, so my inspiration was... Um, oh, I'm sorry, I froze. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> this is live TV, folks. Oh. These lights can be blinding sometimes. <laughs> I'm sorry. So no, it's okay. um, my inspiration behind the brand is the fact that I love um, spending money on makeup. So I decided instead of me spending my own money on makeup, why not brand it for myself? And for me, then I, I got that. the name Luxury Beauty because everything that I do, I feel like I do it with class, grace, and luxury. Yes. So I decided to name it Luxury Beauty. For I love reason. that. <laughs> and I bet my husband wishes I would start a makeup line <laughs> so I stop spending money on other people too. <laughs> All right, so All I'm right. gonna put like more of a natural nude lip on Kenya today and I like to line her 
with a little bit of a nude like brown lip liner first. Ooh. So do you always use lip liner first? Because I think that's something that I forget to do. Like <laughs> I do just because I like to know where the lip line starts and ends. And so I like to do the lip liner first and then I'll go in with the lipstick. Okay. And then if I want to give her more like shine on top, then I'll add a gloss on top of that. All right. Now, do you normally add gloss or do you go for a matte look personally? For me personally, it just depends on like what I'm doing. So I like to add a little bit of gloss just for like extra like moisture and shine for me. Um, yes, but if my client doesn't like like a little shine or shimmer, then I'll just go straight matte with it. Okay, perfect. Now, I have to ask you, what is next? What's next for Keisha? What's next for Luxury Beauty? What's coming up? Next, I plan to come out with a um, eyeshadow palette <gasps> because I love eyeshadows. Yes. Um, so yes, I plan to expand the line. I'm hoping in the next like three to five years, I can have a full-fledged line. Yes. And then eventually one day, I hoped to end up in Sephora or Ulta. <laughs> Big dreams, girl. Yes, well, yes. You, you are well on your way, and okay, Miss Kenya looks fantastic. I don't know if we can get a close-up, but look at this. <laughs> the products are beautiful. Keisha, yes. where can people follow you? They can follow me on Facebook or Instagram at Luxury Beauty Studio. And then I also have a website, luxurybeautycosmetics.com. Perfect. Well, thank you, ladies, so much for joining us. Thank you I so much. I love it, and good luck in all your future endeavors. <laughs> I can't wait to see your eyeshadow palette. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Uh, Patricia, I hear you're really flipping out over this next segment. I'm going to try, girl. Thank you, uh, Ashley. Well, now, Quincy, I have a question for you. Have you, have you did tumbling before? Ever yes, before? yes. Uh, down the stairs in my house a few months ago. It hurt. I'm not talking that kind of tumbling, Quincy. Oh. Now, if you want to learn the right technique to tumble down the stairs, <laughs> this class is just for you. <laughs> Let's welcome to the show, Senele. She's the CEO of Adult Tumbling 757. Ladies, welcome to the show. How are you? We're doing great. Thank you for having us. I think no we need to, I, need, I think we need to help Quincy to learn the technique to get, you know, tumbling down the stairs. <laughs> I can help you down the stairs. I don't want any more help. That hurt. In, in my world, we call that falling. Oh, that's exactly what it was. Simply. But it's okay. Well, now for all those viewers that are, they do not know what is adult tumbling 757, Sanele, what is it? So adult tumbling 757 is exactly what it sounds like. Cartwheels and backflips exclusively for grownups. Ooh, oh, I love it. Yes. That means having fun. Yeah, so, so if you're childish and you're an adult, are you still allowed to be in this class? <laughs> Absolutely. All childishness is welcome <laughs> to our class. As long as you're an adult. We encourage it, actually. Cool. All right. Well, this, well, this, this adult. I think today I'm the, but look at this, Quincy. Uh, oh. She is living dangerously. She doesn't have her high heels on. That means you're about to do something. I'm not Ooh, in my comfort zone. Give me zone. these cards, because I got to see I don't see have my this. high heels, um, but I'm willing to try to do a handstand. Yeah, so yeah. you're you going to do a what? Handstand. Patricia's going to do a handstand. Hey, look, I'll let you get, get her into position. Yes. Yes. yes OK, right. but you, you're going to help me, right? Yes, I got okay, you, of So course. you want to walk me through, like, let's say, for the first time, someone wants to learn this, what is the best technique to get into your hands? All right, first, I'm going to have you step on the mat, both okay. feet on the mat. I'm going to have you get into a lunging position. So for your lunge, Ooh. you're going to have your dominant leg out in front of you. I'm a right person, right here. Slight bend at the knee. And then I'm going to have you start with your arms all the way by your ears. So both arms up by your ears. OK. So I'm going to slight demo first before you go. OK. You're well, going on, to. Tell me, tell me. Does she not look like the Barbie doll that we used to? You remember the Barbie doll hands used to just be? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Quincy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Quincy, I'm sorry. I need concentration right now at this time. Hey, okay. He's, okay. Just, he's just jealous it's not him doing the hands. Uh, oh. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. <laughs> All right. So okay. from here, you're going to reach towards the ground and kick your legs in the air, and I'm going to catch you. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, you're going to catch oh. me. I got you. Girl, you I'm you think you got it? Uh, Question, Let's do it. Questions, right. comments, or concerns? Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you know, know what? what? It's, too know. <laughs> it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. Let's do it. Come on, Patricia. Right, both arms okay. up. OK, OK. Hold me, please. By your ears. <laughs> Are you kidding it me? Was, it was just a trick. <laughs> All right. OK, coming. Wow. Yeah. And Look back down. That. Arms up. Uh, you know how long I've been doing this? Oh, okay. my gosh. It's okay. been like an eight year. 
here. All right, the so so I have to ask you there, uh, oh Snelly. Gosh. Like, what is the like? Do you have a lot of? Is there like? Is there any health benefits or mental benefits to to tumbling? Absolutely, tumbling. absolutely. So one of my favorite benefits of tumbling as an adult is entering play back uh -huh. into your life. Because oftentimes, once we are adult age, the only thing that people bad dress about is paying your bills and taxes, and there's no more fun. So <laughs> that's true, actually. <laughs> yeah, so tumbling as an adult is a great opportunity to tap back into that inner child and just release some stress, take a load off. Okay, so we have here, like here's some, some stress. Yes, Aili is here. She, she doesn't have a mic, so we don't have to ask her any questions. Lucky for you. <laughs> However, what, okay, so can she do that, uh, I call it the invisible cartwheel. Is the that, invisible cartwheel? What is, is that, that Quincy? So, Aili, I think he's referring to an aerial. Oh, oh. it's an invisible <laughs> cartwheel. You don't use your hand. So can you do can that? You like, try to do it, not something like I do. Yes. Here. Here's your notes. <laughs> All right, so, and here we go. It is, see, this is the right pose. And that wow. is crazy. Good job. Hold up, time out, time out now. She's oh really gosh. good. Yes. She is good. Is yes. there something special about how good she is? Yes, so Eileen actually just committed to Duquesne University in Pittsburgh to their acro tumbling team. So go, Eileen. Congratulations. Ooh, okay, okay. Yes, challenge, go, challenge. Can you do the backflip standing still? The steel? backflip. Like, you don't have to run. This is actually okay. one of the hardest uh, challenges. This is oh, one boy. of the hard ones. All right, so I okay. got to look at the ten, technique. Ten, 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 ten. She got it. Look at that. Look at this. Position. This is. Woo! Oh, my wow. God. Oh, God. I can tell you right now, if that was me, my neck is down. So. Oh. <laughs> well, con congratulations to uh, yes, all, all the things that you're going to do. congratulations for all your success. Yeah. So now, Sanelia, really quick, uh, how do you connect the Tumble in 757, your practice, and also promote mental health? So we promote mental health by providing a space for people to come, mm -hmm. socialize, meet new people, um, try new skills, which helps build confidence and things like that. I love awesome, it. Awesome, awesome. And we, we can see the pictures of all the folks here. Now, this segment is short, and I cannot leave so now it's your turn, without Quincy. me at least Listen, trying to handstand. It looks easy, stand. but it's not right. that easy, because right. when I was trying to do this, wait, 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 I wait, 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 you need some guidance. You got to wait for me to get there. OK, all right. <laughs> I'm ready. OK, did, did you see what she did? Yes, she put the, she, she looked like a Barbie doll. Yes. 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 <laughs> All right. Are okay, you ready? I'm and ready for you. Here we go. Ooh, hey, oh, hey, 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 Now, look here. Uh, clearly, I qualified at doing this, but it's time to see if I can qualify as something else I've never done. Yes. Ooh, and guess what? You need some bus passes for it. <laughs> Stay Thank right you, there. Thank you, ladies. Thank you so much. <laughs> Welcome back to Living 757. Ashley, don't you tire when you have a day to go to the same places all over and again? Like yeah. walking at the beach, restaurants? Yeah, I feel like the same places can get a little monotonous. But guess what? Our next guest, she can help us, which is that. She's the creator of In The Sky. So let's welcome to the show, Christina. How Hi. are you, Christina? Hi. How's it going? <laughs> Thank you so much. So excited to have you because, oh my gosh, this decoration is amazing. <laughs> now, how do you come up with this idea and when you started? So I started actually in my house, which a oh, lot yeah. of people are very surprised about. Yeah. But during the pandemic, everybody was doing home projects. So yes. of course, I put my husband to the work. <laughs> uh, one of my friends decided that they wanted to use our space for a podcast. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we just put it on Instagram and then seeing if somebody wanted to try it out. And they did, and that's how we got started. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. It was completely organic. Yes, And yes. out of something crazy, COVID. Yeah. Something amazing was born, and I love that. Now, yes. this is one of your, like, special date night setups. Yes, yeah. But that's not all that you do. So no. this, among others, what are your most popular requests? So a lot of times, people like our really big space that holds up to 30 to 130 guests. Ooh. So graduations, wow. birthdays, micro weddings, I mean, anything that you can think of to gather your friends and family, that's the most requested space. And then we also provide dinner with friends. So if somebody has a smaller group, you know, maybe anywhere between 10 to 25, we have special spaces for them too. Okay, now you just mentioned something very important for Ashley and myself. <laughs> 
food yeah. if I'm hungry. So you can, how does that work? So what is the process? So you bring a chef to this space or how that works? Yeah, so we team up with some of the best caterers in the local area and we just provide a list or a menu from what they give to our clients. They pick out their desired food menu and then we just go from there. So, I mean, it's a lot of different type of caterers that we have in different food styles. I love it. Yeah. But now, Christina, just uh, one more question about that. And let's say it's me. I want to go my day with my friends and I ask you, okay, I want to be in a rooftop. So you are in charge to look for that location? Or, yeah, or so to? we do help with people find different other areas and okay. we partner with other spaces as well just in case they decide that, hey, I like this in the sky space but let's see if we're, uh, there's another location or another space we can do, so yeah. Okay, now we're looking at some video footage and some photos of In the Sky, and it's stunning. Thank you it so is. much, thank you so much. It's stunning. So how did you come up with the concept of making these Instagrammable spaces for people to kind of come and have their events in. Yeah, so one of the biggest things is, is connecting with the right people, connecting with the right vendors. But honestly, the idea came from the struggle of my own, me trying to find a space. Yes. Uh, you know, I'm tired of restaurants. And then, of course, my husband, I love him dearly, but he's not <laughs> the best romantic person in the world. <laughs> so we had to come that's up with- That's why they talking to you. <laughs> we had to, I wanted to come up with different ideas. So that's where it came from of looking at, okay, so what is it that I I like and then of course people in my generation again they like Instagrammable things they mm -hmm. want to make sure yeah. that they can do videos and pictures in it so that's where a lot of the stuff came from of my own of what it is that I would like to see and experience. Okay. I, I love the whole concept I think it's great and especially on these days Ashley creators are like a so much fun and they do yeah, so much right. stuff like you Christina kudos to you because Thank what you they're so doing much. it's not just the business it's the, the also the experience yeah. right yeah. yeah I love it and on your website it talks about creating creative spaces yeah. now for anybody watching who doesn't understand or doesn't know what that means can you explain the concept yeah so the concept is any type of space or location that you can use for production meetings and event gatherings and I'm telling you we have like the most bizarre places Places. We have a farm that's going wow. on with different like horses and How petting fun. zoos, and then we have a uh, big like mansions, older like uh, maybe 1800s and 1800 oh, wow. mansions, mm. and then there's a bunch of different space, open fields, but it's mainly just focusing on providing a uh, location or space for productions, meetings, and gatherings. Oh, Perfect. that's so yeah. much cool. So, Christina, now for those people that are watching right now, and I know they want to book a section with you, why do they have to contact? Yes, so you can either hit us up on Instagram or you can visit our website as well. And we do have a team line. It's 757-231-6787. I love Perfect. it. Well, thank you so much, thank you Christina. So much. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Christina. We were in the sky. Now let's bring it back down to earth to the streets more specifically. And let's ask the question, can Quincy qualify at Hampton Roads Transit? Oh, wow. Whoa. Hold up. Oh, man! Oh. <laughs> Guys, it's that time again. I'm here at HRT, and I'm about to qualify doing something I've never done before. I'm going to learn how to drive one of these bad boys. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> I need y'all to know I'm about to go. And it's an open world. Welcome to Safety City. You can go wherever you want. Safety City. Got you. One of my top questions is, what does it, you know, take to become a bus driver? Well, we got a, a rigorous training. Um, it's about 11 weeks long. Uh, but we're just looking for good people to come through. Well, customer service oriented people are, are always a good thing. Um, you don't have to be pre-qualified. Just gotta be able to pass your passenger endorsement and CDL testing, and uh, we'll get you trained up uh, to become an operator here at HRT. Okay. Good turn. That's pretty smooth, bro. Yes, sir. Okay. Turn left. This brother keeps I'm, hitting. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a pass because it's a very narrow street that you just turned on to. Slow down, man. Oh, okay, Whoa. all right, all right, all right, sir. All right. Yeah, 
I mean, now, time out, bro. <laughs> Hold up. You got to be a lot more careful than that. Hold up. Is this, is this my fault? <laughs> yeah, that was a preventable accident. Oh, wow. Whoa. Hold up. Oh, oh. man. <laughs> Quincy, you done did it again. <laughs> you didn't qualify this time. But if you keep coming back, we're going to get you straight. Keep coming back. I hit and killed <laughs> two, well, multiple people. This is not good. Um, well, luckily, it's just assimilated. All right. Well, you know, on to the next thing. I can maybe qualify on it, right? All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Get out of my seatbelt. I'm not a bus driver. It's OK. No. It's OK. Get out of my face. Hey, how you doing? I'm Quincy. I'm good. I'm Jackie. All right, Jackie. All right, so what are you doing here? I'm reading my HRT training manual. Oh, wow. So this is a lot lot of information to process, huh? It is. OK, so um, were you watching me on the simulator? Yeah, I did. Uh, OK, can you give me a little, uh, a couple of little tips on how you think I did? You need to take that class over again. All right, go on and put the X back. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, cool. So um, like, as a career, um, this is one of those opportunities working with HRT that gives you like a long, like we'll, we'll be talking 10, 15, 20 years. That's why I chose this because it was a career, not just a job. You can retire from here. Um, other places you just get your paycheck and go home. Okay. But you can actually do a lot of things here and get a pension and that's why I chose to come to HRT. Awesome. Well, Jackie, thank you very much for taking the time. You're welcome. To talk to me and I love your hair. Thank you. Get my hair like We're that almost too. twins. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, um, I know you had a chance to see me in the simulator. Uh, any thoughts on that? Well, like Ron said, you give it enough uh, practice, I think you'll get there. But uh, I hope yeah. you understood, you know, what the drivers go through, yeah. uh, the training that they go through, and the emphasis on safety. How would a, a you know a potential person apply? To? Just go to online on to our website, gohrt.com. Okay. But right now, you know, if, if you make it through training, you start uh, driving. There's you're qualified for about a five thousand dollars sign-on bonus. Wow. Um, so. Captain Rose Transit is really proud to, to provide all kinds of transportation options safely, reliably for the community. So we serve six cities in Hampton Roads, other than Suffolk. Uh, we have the Tide Light Rail that runs within the city of Norfolk. Uh, and then we've got the ferry, the Elizabeth River Ferry between Portsmouth and Norfolk. Yeah. And then we've got something that not a lot of people know, which is the paratransit. So wow. folks who are disabled, who need to go to doctor's offices, they can call it up, reserve a, a van, a specialty fitted van. And we have free rides four times a year. So wow. the next one will be Juneteenth on yeah. June 19th. Yeah. So uh, in celebration of that, every passenger is free that day. Lucky for you guys, I did not qualify this time, but Hey, make sure you guys take the Hampton Roads Transit wherever you need to go, all right? Hey, uh, and watch that clip. Okay. Next time, don't cry. Quincy, um, please don't take this the wrong way. I know you have a lot of jobs, but I really think you should leave the bus driving to the bus drivers. Let me explain something to you. First of all, they didn't tell me that the simulator was actually tougher than actually driving a bus. Tougher? Okay, yes. Quincy, you crashed yes. an ambulance. But they do. Over, okay, and, over, over and, and over and over and over, and over the again. The ambulance <laughs> crashed into me if you guys saw what okay. the person did. He didn't <laughs> even have an expression on his face. He just turned and wait, I hit wait. him and he was like, Hang on. You also and ran off a cliff. Did that drive in front of you too? You, you, you know what? <laughs> uh, there's See? a guy named uh, <laughs> Treasy that's on our team who I think was controlling how the road just cut off because it well, was just it was just crazy how that all um, happened. Um, Quincy, you yeah. didn't qualify for sure. No, no can, I definitely didn't. No, qualify. you definitely not. And I have a call for the old people in Ham everyone in Hampton Road. If you see Quincy car driving, get out. <laughs> because he's going to go straight to you guys. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? A big shout out to all of the HRT yes, drivers. I'm going to tell you, you something. What, what they didn't show in the package was like they have a great working environment for their mm -hmm. employees. So they have a very stressful life of dealing with uh, passengers and people from all over. And then right. they can come to their facilities and they can relax. They can shoot pool. They, they can just sit and chill and get snacks and just kind of unwind. So uh, kudos to what you guys do out there at HRT. And don't forget, for Juneteenth, 
everybody rides free. So yes, everybody sure rides free the whole day. HRT. So use HRT. Yes. You Thank go. you so much, guys. No problem. Well, you know, it's clear that Quincy did not qualify. Um, there is no answer for that, but there is an answer. <laughs> and Alan Iverson, we're talking about that next. Stay right there. Hey guys, welcome back to Living 757. Now, Ashley, you know how rich this area is with uh, regards to its professional athletes, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and one comes to mind in particular, Allen Iverson, AI, or who we call him around here, Bubba Chuck, right? Uh, he's actually going to be here for the Iverson Classic, and uh, it's going to be filled with a lot of who's who and a lot of entertainment and fun. And here to tell us a little bit more about that, we got Jay Mansell here. What's happening, Jay? What's going, What's going on, on? How you guys doing? Welcome hey. to Living 757. Yeah, Glad man. To be here. Ha happy to see you guys. You got the full drip and everything. Oh, got okay. you, Iverson Classic all day. Good, good. Now, we know Iverson as an icon around here, right? Yeah. Um, so can you talk just like how important or what goes on with the Iverson Classic that makes it such a popular thing and how many years have you guys been doing? So we started the Classic about eight years ago. Yeah. Alan, myself, we have a third partner, Bobby Bates, who's okay. a, a big uh, grassroots basketball uh, guy. And, um, you know, it all came out of this idea that there was really a gap in the all-American space for, mm. for real basketball. You have a couple other games, but it's more about the selection for those games. Our game, we wanted to build something where it was authentic. It was something that felt like real competition. And you know, eight years later, we're the most watched all-American game in the country. The biggest athletes come through it, all the biggest future NBA guys play. Yeah. All our coaches are retired NBA players. It's the who's who. It's the who's who. I mean, it's it's the best basketball. Slam Magazine calls it the most competitive game in America. Right? Yeah, well, I mean, well, everybody know AI was one of the most competitive players. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We had to build something that, that represented that, uh, that ethos, right? Yeah. And I think that's what... Uh, that's what we've been able to do, and nice. we're really excited to bring it, finally bring it back to Hampton. Dope. Right, and that's exactly what my next question was about. Yeah. This is an NBA-sanctioned event, and this is the first time that it's happening in both yours and Allen's hometown of Hampton. How did that happen, and what does that mean to you guys? So, you know, something Chuck and I have talked about a number of times over the years is that this needs to happen in Hampton, mm -hmm. right? We gotta go to the Coliseum. We gotta take it back to his alma mater, Bethel. We've gotta do this right. you know, on the on the, the fertile ground that, that raised us. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we spoke to Mayor Tuck. We spoke to, you know, the city council. We said, how do we make this happen? And they've been great partners. And we've been able to, uh, to bring it back. We're doing on May 2nd, the what we call the Iverson Games, which is like the dunk contest, three-point shootout. We have the best dunk contest in the country, by the way. I mean, I, oh yeah. I want to take a sideboard. We have the best dunk contest. Yeah, in but y'all got Matt McClung, who's the current two-time NBA champion. He like, came out he, of this he, game. He came out of the. He, he did. He did his first major dunk contest with us with a couple years ago. Wow. Yeah. And so he's now won the dunk contest twice. So when you want to see this level yeah. of basketball. And we have another game happening on the second also called the 24K Showcase, gotcha. which is basically our undercard game. So yeah. it's like top 100 players. There's going to be future NBA stars in that game too. You know, we say NBA sanctioned or NBA certified events. There's only a handful. We're two of them. Right. So back to back happening on the second at Bethel, and then on the fourth, we take it to the Coliseum for the uh, the big All-American oh, game. Wow. So Too legit to quit, and I'm gonna put you on the spot. I think you need <laughs> like a hometown person reporting there. I, I think we do, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's we a do. sneaky, that's a yeah. sneaky. <laughs> do. We're, not do We're not gonna do that in front of me. You snuck that right past me. Oh, you sneaky. So, you know, speaking of being sneaky. I only got one press pass left. So. Oh gosh, you know what? <laughs> He is yours. Folks. Okay, so she snuck that in. So who else is sneaking in the town that's a who's who that we, we could possibly... Are there any surprises yeah. that you can there, tell us? So there's a lot of surprises I can't tell you. I'll tell you in previous years, some of the biggest NBA stars showed up. You know, um, Baron Davis will show up some yeah. years. We've had oh, yeah. J.R. Smith show up. I can tell you right now we have Tim Thomas, uh, Stephen Jackson, yep. Darius Miles, Lenny Cook, all oh. coaching. Okay. So you wow. can only imagine who's going to show up special yeah. guests we might have some special surprises it's okay. not it's not uncommon nle chopper has popped up uh jada kiss it's not uncommon for oh, hip-hop yeah. stars to show up so 
You never know. I mean, there's going to be some surprises. I'll, I'll just okay. say this. Get, get your tickets because you're going to hear about it if you That's want That's one thing about this area is we're not just rich in that athletic talent. Yeah. We're also rich in that musical talent. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's hard to not love both coming from here. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's a perfect marriage. <laughs> it's, yes, it definitely is a perfect marriage. Now, um, you, you were talking about real, really quick where people can go get tickets because I yes. want to do a trivia game if you don't mind. hundred percent. But where can they go get tickets? So tickets, game? iversonclassic.com slash 2024. Get your tickets. You also can get broadcast information. We're excited to say we're going to be broadcasting. If you have, you can see this right now. You can watch it on your view. Okay. Yeah. You can also watch it on Triller. Uh, nice. Where the Mike Tyson fights have been, re yeah, so we're, it's going to be, it's going to okay. be a big one. But right. you want your tickets? Twenty uh, IversonClassic.com/slash/2024. Got you. Definitely. Perfect. Make sure y'all go and y'all can see it right there on your screen. Now, before we get out of here, let's have some quick fun, okay? Okay, let's do it. We, we have a question about some snacks that, that you guys have, <laughs> but um, let's do some quick M NBA, quick Virginia sports trivia, yeah. okay? So my first one is: uh, What NBA team is slated to move to the north to Northern Virginia? A is it the Capital uh, Cavaliers, the Brooklyn Nets? or the Washington Wizards. I never heard of the Capitol Cavaliers. Do they mean Cleveland? Well, <laughs> they wrote Capitol on there, so maybe that's the team that I we think don't they know. were giving, no, I think they were giving us like completely wrong Made answers, up answers on purpose. Yeah. yeah, well, it's not that one. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the Wizards. Yes, the Wizards, yes, yeah. so, okay. the Wizards right. for sure. Okay, right. let's see here. Which is not one of Virginia's pro basketball teams, the Longwood, the Longwood Lancers, the Richmond Spiders or the Fairfax Minutemen? I'm going to go with the Fairfax, because why would Fairfax have a squad? I've never even heard of the Fairfax. If the, if the Fairfax Minutemen no. is a real team, I apologize, but y'all <laughs> need to change your name immediately. Well, that's only one well, person apologizing. Well, good thing apologizing. for them, I'm they not. don't exist. So okay, good. That's cool. okay. All right, look, before we get out of here, it was a question about the, the oh, snack. Oh, yeah. Like, she, yeah. She and I were okay. talking I, about I snacks. have to ask about this, because they're the most addictive snacks yeah. in yeah. America. Yeah. You're also the CEO of Rap Snacks. <laughs> the creative director, but yeah, creative yeah. Creative so, director, creative director. So I, 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 I misspoke. Uh, yeah, no, it's all good. I own a What's company. What's your favorite flavor? Soul? Yeah, we, we do, yeah, we do yeah, a, lot of, a lot of snacks every year. You didn't bring so, no snacks. What's your favorite flavor? My favorite flavor, okay, I'll tell you that. So right now, <laughs> okay. uh, my favorite flavor is we have a little baby cheese puff called All In Cheese Puffs. Okay. And we have a Rick Ross. Um, uh. oh. <laughs> Rick Ross, <laughs> Rose, Rose Cheddar. Okay. Those are my okay. two favorites right cool. now. All right, we're All gonna right. have to yeah, try yeah. those. Well, Jay, thank you so much thank you, my man. for coming. Absolutely. It was a pleasure to meet you. Now from a legend on the court to a vixen of a vocalist, Patricia's with our artist of the day. Thank you guys, what a great segment. Yes, Virginia has so much talent and today is not exception. We have with us today a beautiful singing and songwriter well known for her soulful vocals. Let's welcome to the show, Goldie, how are you? I'm well, thank you for having me on the show. So excited to have you with us today because I cannot wait to hear your story. Now, Goldie, is that your artistic name or is your real name? Just so it's... It's actually my stage name. Okay. Uh, it came about because I'm heavily influenced by the Chinese Japanese culture. Oh wow. There's an art known as uh, Kintsugi. Okay. Kintsugi, and it's about broken pottery being fixed with gold lacquer. Oh. And they believe that when you fix it with the gold lacquer, it's embracing the damage and making it beautiful. And so oh. I feel as though I've come from a broken place, and so my healing is making me beautiful again. Oh, wow. I would never imagine that that name come from that background. I love this story. Uh, now, I know you're going to play a song for us today, Set Me Free. What a title. Thank Set you. Me Free is the huge title. So what is the meaning behind this title, Set Me Free? Set Me Free is actually coming from a place of depression and allowing yourself to let that damage and that space of negative energy go and embracing the newfound love of life that you have for yourself. I love that because most of the time, uh, music heals our hearts. I think it's a very good therapy also for most of the people, right, yes. to doing this. So how this resonate, this song resonate with you personally? Who personally? Yes. Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> it resonates me, with me because I, um, I have come from depression, mm -hmm. um, very heavy, but a lot of people around me don't choose life all the time. Mm -hmm. um, they fall victim to suicide or, you know, other things. And so I just, I want to be there to inspire people to choose life. Yes. And to be free, free themselves from all of the detriment 
that they should not go through. Oh my gosh, I love it, exactly. You just talking and my skin gets goosebumps. Now, really quick, because the time is flying today. Uh, I know you auditioned for NPR, for it's a national network. Can you just tell me a little bit more about that experience? Yeah, so NPR Tiny Desk is a contest that's mm -hmm. going on. Um, so if you get a chance, please go on to the NPR site yes. <laughs> and um, look for myself and uh, Jacob Adcock, um, JC Anna Pickett, and uh, Katie Brooks. We are an uh, ensemble placed okay. together, and we, we auditioned for it. So we're hoping that we can win it. Oh, yes. Of course they're going to call you back. I know that. We have so much talent here in Virginia. And now, last, last but not least, I hear also that you went to Paris and something has to do with Pharrell Williams. Can you just tell me a little bit about that? <laughs> um, so Paris was an eye-opening, amazing experience. Um, definitely one in a lifetime. Um, kudos to him for allowing the opportunity for artists and people like me to be a part of something like that. Yes. And um, it, it just, it's life-changing, really, to be on the stage and singing with a gospel choir that is oh, wow. just spreading the joy and the love that needs to be given. I love it. And what a better place than Paris, right? To that do that. Part, yes. So now, really quick, Goldie, before we go to commercial break, where can people find you? Where they can hear more about your music? Um, you can find me on YouTube, Instagram. Uh, oh man, LinkedIn. Everywhere, yes. LinkedIn tree, everywhere. <laughs> so, well, thank you so much, Goldie. She stay with us thank because you. we have to go to a quick commercial break. But coming up next. Goldie performs live, so don't go anywhere. Girl, you have to tell me. <laughs> Welcome back to Living 7 by 7. Uh, can I tell what we're laughing about? No. Okay. <laughs> what a great show, guys. Yes. yes <laughs> so a, exciting. A lot of fun. And in the last segment, we were uh, kind of cut short, but for a good reason, that was a great interview. Yes. Um, but here's another question, another mm -hmm. trivia question about Virginia sports. Uh, okay. How many basketball titles does Virginia have? That is the Virginia Cavaliers, the uh, college team, right? Or the UVA Cavaliers, the University of Virginia. Yeah, um, University of three. Virginia. Either they have 26, 52, or 43. Huh? 23. I, I didn't even say 23 <laughs> as an option, so you, now you're just guessing stuff. Okay, I'm guessing. 23? Random. No. 26, 43, or 52? For, 43. 43. Oh, both, both of y'all are right. 43. Yes, uh, Virginia Cavaliers has 43 total titles. That is a lot of titles. That is a lot of titles. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go a little bit rogue. I'm not going to ask another question about UVA because <laughs> they're not the best school in the ACC. Um, oh, but oh, but let's let's talk 757 sports okay. in general. Which former Seattle Seahawk grew up in the 757? Oh, uh, Cam Chancellor. Yes. Yes. Get yeah. Jack. I don't yeah. know. Cam Cam Cam. Yeah, that's pretty cool. There we go. And, and of course, guys, look, the whole Allen Iverson thing, you never know who's going to pop up. It's a bunch of celebrities that's from this area, from yep. outside yes. this area, but they'll be right here in this area. So. And we'll be there, too. So come say hi. I'll yeah, so there. much talent here in Virginia. I'll try to be there. And you guys can always be there, I'm meaning uh, at this show, right? You can catch every episode, catch all past episodes. You can follow us on our TikToks, on our uh, um, uh, emails, and all that stuff. It's right there on your Instagram screen. Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> Just yes. scan the QR code if you want all to. Of them. I can't remember all that stuff. Right. You can go ahead and send <laughs> any ideas for segments to that email across the bottom of your screen. It's share at living757.com. We love you guys. And that's right. And before we say goodbye, we're going to leave you with a beautiful singer and songwriter, Goldie, and the song, Set Me Free. Everything you were was everything.
everything I needed. We were living in paradise, a place of pure ecstasy. The lakes began to rise and the ocean overflowed. I just knew it was our loving. me. <laughs>